Yeah, I think there, there's, um, when we talk about risk connected with talent, we're really talking about two dimensions of it. One is, is finding the right talent to fit what your organization is trying to achieve. So for example, if you want to succeed by excellent customer service, think about a hotel. And, uh, and hotels often distinguish themselves not so much on price, but on service. And finding the right people that really have those excellent customer service skills is, is definitely a challenge. And the second aspect of it is, is keeping those people, providing the kinds of incentives and the kind of work environment that will get them inspired to want to stay. So those two dimensions in talent management, finding the right people and then building an organizational culture, if you will, an environment that makes the best people really want to stay there for a long time. Um, those are, are, are key HR challenges and every organization has to deal with those. Risk is the, is the, is the concern that um, we want to avoid bad things from happening. We want to keep bad things from happening. So we, we set up policies, for example, that, are, that really restrict what people can do. Uh, and on the other hand, opportunity means putting your organization in position to take advantage of new ways of doing things, innovations. You know, several years ago, um, I was doing a, an interview with the, uh, the chief engineer at Yahoo. And I said to him, how do you manage brilliant people? And he thought about it for a minute. He said, you know, that's a great question. And he said, the best thing we can do is tell them what we were generally trying to accomplish give them all the resources they need, but then let them go off on their own and give them the opportunity to create new ideas, new products, new services. Because he said that's why we hired these people in the first place, is because they can do things that other people can't. So the worst thing we want to do is to limit them by very restrictive policies, et cetera, that don't allow them the freedom that they need to really be creative. I can't speak for every country in the world, that's for sure, but I know that in, at least in my country, in the U.S., it's, it's a very good question. Why are they so afraid? Why are they risk averse? And um, because they often see their job as keeping the company out of trouble. Trouble with law enforcement, trouble with regulators. Uh, they don't want any lawsuits against the company for not providing equal opportunity. And so, in order to do that, they often are unwilling to take any risks. You know, a good example would be um, asking identical questions to everybody in an interview. You know, not exercising any kind of any any kind of discretion or following up on 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 leads on questions that are interesting with different people. But if they're so tightly scripted that they have to ask identical questions to everybody. They're very worried about, about um, treating people a little bit differently. And yet today we recognize you have to do that. You've got to tell your best performers that you love them and that they have a future there and allow them the creativity and freedom they need to really be creative and innovative.